All right, second reaction for today. Um, I have been asked to check out a band called, I believe it's Silverstein, Silverstein? I'm assuming it's Silverstein. I'm just gonna say that for now. You can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, never heard of them before. Uh, heard of Silver Chair, but not Silverstein. And um, one of the most requested was a song called Massachusetts. So I looked up the lyrics and I gotta say this one hits really really close to home like like wow I'm surprised that I didn't like burst out into tears reading this now um I don't think it's my right to say who I'm talking about so I won't say that but just needless to say I know somebody very close that um this song, I, like I swear it's written for, um, <clears throat> I know a couple other people that um, maybe could uh, go along with this too, but the one person, and I, I love her to death, oh my gosh, um, I miss her, but, um, so this song is basically about, it sounds like a physical abuse, um, I mean it's the, that first line, she's cutting out the bruises. Um, she's trying to tell herself she hasn't lost enough to quit um, and it's so much easier when you're on the outside to be like just leave leave go away like but then when you're that person especially if you have kids and you don't want to leave the, the kids um, it's a really tough situation um, but tonight she lays here thinking, what if I just left in the middle of the night, back to California and never look back, which I know, I know she wanted to leave so many times. Um, I know she tried a couple of times, but she always, always came back, even in the later years, and we tried to help her, and she just, just went back. Um, I guess maybe you can't help everybody, but, um. She'll fantasize about it. I, I know. I'm sure she did. But she can't find it in her heart to run away. Which is exactly like... I, I, we need to name this song after this person. Rename it with her name. And he's on his knees begging. Please, oh baby, please. I can explain. It won't happen again. Like, seriously. And it makes me so mad. Um, people that, you know, and you know, I'm, and maybe some people are mentally ill and that's why they do that, but I mean, there's no excuse. I mean, there's gotta be, people need help. Um, and she, she was a strong woman, don't, don't get me wrong. Like, very strong, very spunky. Uh, um, Definitely, I, I learned a lot from her, and but that was just the one thing, um, she actually inspired me to get out of um, a couple of real relationships that I was like, you know what, no, I'm not going to stay, I'm not going to keep trying, I'm going to get out, and, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to get stuck, so, um, she really inspired me, and, uh, <sighs> I, I'm glad she's happy in heaven now, though. She's free, <laughs> thank goodness. And, um, anyway, this song, like, wow. I was very surprised to read those lyrics. I didn't know there was a song like that out there, and it's just, can't even begin to say. There's a lot I could say about it. Um, but for now, let me just check out the music video. Okay, there it goes. Let's see what this is about. Like, bring me the horizon.
because I like the drums on this part. So the screaming does kind of remind me of Bring Me the Horizon. Um, not my favorite, but I love, I love the singing parts in this, and I love, I love the lyrics to this song. Well, I mean, I um, feel the lyrics to this. Song. Breakdowns there at the end, those were, that was awesome. Yeah, I'm kind of, uh, there were a couple more songs that were um, requested from this band and I'm definitely interested to check out more. Uh, like I said, the song definitely hit home. Um, it was, um, well, I wish, I, you know, it's just, this song, it might not be a playlist song, but it is something I would listen to when I'm thinking about her, because, I mean, it just, I mean, it reminds me of her so, so much, and, ugh, difficult situations, but, um, even though she never did get out of her situation, I am glad that I, I, I saw, because I was there to, I, I heard it, and I actually saw it, and um, I still remember it to this day. I was, it was a long time ago, but I still like, just like it was yesterday, and um, but it did inspire me because I was like, okay, I don't want to, I've been spending all this time being like, you need please leave, like, you know, j you know, just be friends with them instead of being married to them or, you know, but she never did and so then I, I kind of applied that to me with a, a couple of relationships that I was in and I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna, I don't want to be the person that's like, you know, somebody's like, leave and I'm the person that's just staying. Um, and I'm sure there were a lot of, a lot of reasons. Um, she stayed there, the, but anyway, I'm not gonna go. I think I've talked enough about that, <laughs> sorry. Hopefully this isn't like 20 minutes long. It is just a very sensitive subject. It's very close to me. So um, that was, was it Silverstein, Massachusetts. Uh, thank you for requesting that. Um, that's a very good song. Um, I, I need to listen to it every time I feel discouraged or <laughs> I'm mad that I don't have a relationship because then I, I can listen to it and be like, well, it's better than the ones I had. So, um, yeah. Um, if you have any comments, please 
drop them below. Uh, please like and subscribe. Got Twitter, Instagram, pointed at the wrong way. Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, I get messages from all three. Um, love to chat with everybody. And that is it for tonight. So hopefully I will see everybody, or you'll see me tomorrow. See ya.